सो वेलकम गाइज वंस अगेन वी आर हियर फॉर डिस्कसिंग ड्रीमर पैकेज एंड टूडे टूडे टॉपिक इज गेयर पम्प लास्ट इन लास्ट सेशन वी टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट सेंट्रिफिकल पम्प ओके सो आफ्टर सेंट्रिफिकल पम्प द गेयर पम्प इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पम्प दैट इज आस्ट जनरली द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग गेयर पम्प so that question will be asking here and we'll discussing here so let's get let's get started guys it are starting with the uh, type of the gear pump is which type of pump it's positive displacement pump or rotodynamic pump who gonna tell this is a positive displacement pump okay uh, can anyone tell uh, types of pump how many types of pump how it is divided into uh pumps uh, hello yes hello yes 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 i am audible yeah you are audible yeah you yeah. are audible uh, pumps are uh, of uh, yes Uh, there is a uh, one is a uh, positive displacement type pump and another one is a uh, rotodynamic type pump in rotodynamic there is a centrifugal pump and axial flow pump and in positive displacement pump uh, there is a rota uh, reciprocating pump and rotary pump uh, below uh, rotary pump we have a screw pump and a gear pump and below reciprocatory pump uh, we have a diaphragm pump uh, and piston pump mm. nice anyone else try guys anyone else like to answer this bhai you are not audible sorry anyone else like to answer this this is also asked ोटरीपम uh and then vein pump low pump screw pump. pump gear pump all right vein pump so this is the category and sub category of positive displacement pump and and rotodynamic pump so <clears throat> now the next question is what is gear pump okay and guys also remember one thing i need to tell you that the gear pump and centrifugal pump diagram is very much important so practice that that you should make this diagram in 30 second without labeling it okay so this so what is gear pump anyone guys try gear pump is a passive displacement pump mm-hmm. it uses two gear and it a little of two years it transfers fluid from one region to another region mm-hmm. and yes. it takes fluid between the two peaks gear pump is a type of gear, positive gear displacement pump gear pump for positive displacement pump mm-hmm. yeah and then it uses to get to transfer fluid from one region to another region mm-hmm. and it takes the uh, Uh, volume of water in between the teeth to transfer from one region to another region. Nice, it was nice explanation. Anyone else? From where you read Akash? Uh, learn this concept. No, oh, I'm I'm just explaining the diagram. I don't know it anywhere. I just saw the diagram. Uh, you learn from learn this concept from uh, 
लेक्चर लाइक ड्रीमर पैकेज और और फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब वीडियो नॉट फ्रॉम योर बट इन इन रैंडम यूट्यूब वीडियो आई साहब ओके ओके जनरल यूट्यूब वीडियो ऑल नो वरीज एनीवन एल्स व्हाट इज गियर पंप गाइस यू कैन आल्सो कम विद योर कैमरा ओके like you can come uh, and front just like uh, you are sitting in interview and can try to speak up okay with full confidence no one okay let me tell you uh, he was right akash was right that gear pump is a type of positive displacement pump okay and which has two gear <coughs> let me show the figure also that would be much better you can see my screen guys you can see my you can see my screen all right yeah yeah we can hello guys so, this uh, uh, here is my youtube channel i have explained here some of the concept in green this hello after centrifugal pump you know i have also made a top 10 gme marine interview question answer regarding centrifugal pump you can also refer this for interview after learning from dreamer package you will feel like a uh, that uh, advanced thing and you can also watch directly there is no problem i have started from the basic concept Okay, this is the collection of ten question. After taking lots of testimonial of students, taking experience, I collected and made them. Okay, now I have also explained about gear pump. Let we are seeing this because after centrifugal pump, it is hello guys. This very much important. Okay. Let me okay. so everyone seeing the gear pump diagram guys just revert me everyone seeing the now yes yes right. so i was saying that <coughs> that is uh, this uh, look at this first question which i had earlier discussed what is pump you know pump is a type of mac pump pump is a mechanical device which is used to transfer the fluid from one place to another simple and sorted okay now gear pump so as all you know gear pump is a type of positive displacement pump which has two gears one gear is rotating gear and another gear is follower gear and this uh, sorry on one gear is driver gear okay this driver gear is actually connected with soft motor soft okay it is 2d figure that's why motor soft is not uh, it is involved okay so it is connected with motor soft and when it rotates the follower gun follows and rotates if it is rotating in anti clockwise it will rotate in clockwise direction okay so a gear pump is a type of positive displacement pump which transfer the fluid one from one place to another place okay by the means of mechanical meshing of gear so actually when this this when this teeth you are seeing this when they rotate they mesh each other okay and they mechanically mesh because of mechanical force okay so because of this the fluid get transferred from one place to another we will also discussing how the here here there must be some suction pressure negative pressure must be created so how it is creating and here discharge pressure must be created and how discharge pressure is creating before that let's now uh, see the parts of gear so guys tell me other than this driver and follower what are you seeing in gear pump relief valve relief valve relief valve you see in centrifugal pump you also see relief valve in centrifugal pump no no in 
no we won't see uh, what, what is the reason guys tell me what is the reason of not having uh, relief valve in uh, rotodynamic pump but having relief no. valve in positive displacement pump yes who is this yes not sir. much pressure created in the centrifugal pump that's why we don't use a relief valve and in uh, positive displacement pump the pump creates pressure the pump create pressure positively you know the pressure will be continuously increasing it can burst the casing but in a case of centrifugal pump the impeller will rotate and it will not create uh, that much amount of pressure because it will rotate it will cut the water like okay not positively displaced is okay so and also in a case of uh, so, uh, centrifugal pump the casing or strong enough design to hold the high pressure but it is not that much high uh, as positive displacement pump got it guys so this concept is important why relief valve is uh, in a positive displacement pump but not in centrifugal pump because of this reason and also one of the positive displacement pump, exception it is exception one of the positive displacement pump is there where we don't need relief valve can anyone tell guys which is that positive displacement pump i am talking about diaphragm pump yeah very good salman you are no joining here from telegram uh, yes uh, uh, join my whatsapp group are you having dreamer package yes from the telegram group okay yes i did okay yes okay. i am having all right anyone who is new joiny from telegram group join my whatsapp group okay there you will get my youtube link to watch further after learning from dreamer package okay to become a pro in interview all right so we understand this till now now we'll be seeing now we'll be seeing the next important question of air pump is how negative pressure is created in gear pump how suction pressure is created in gear pump so guys would like to tell here you are seeing the picture now tell me try how this negative pressure is creating and the fluid is sucking up uh, i would like to speak up yeah salman sure, here go ahead. but if you uh, can speak on camera that can also yeah. so uh, then so that will be great sorry if you can come in front of camera like if you speak up by opening your camera that would be great salman okay okay, okay. yeah yes yeah so so in a gear pumps the the inter when the interlocking gears uh, they unmesh come out of mesh so they uh, they uh, the the volume is increased and uh, the fluid is pushed into the cavities between the casing and the teeth as this fluid is displaced so there is a void created at the inlet side of the pump and uh, as a result more fluid is sucked into the uh pipe the uh, this fluid is displaced along uh, the casing as the gear rotates and it is uh, moved to the delivery side mm -hmm. and as the the gears again interlock mm -hmm. then the volume is reduced and the fluid is forced out very much impressive from where you learned this concept Salman, uh, I read it on uh, uh, a blog. I read it on a blog. You know, and watched uh, in Dreamers package also. And I and okay, all right. I read it on. I read it on a blog. Okay, okay. And watched one video. Okay. Uh, from there. Okay. So anyone else like to try, guys? it was very much impressive salman if you will speak like this in front of interviewer your confidence was also good okay 
so i am seeing the some thank positive you. thing that you are adding with okay anyone else like to try amstan ajay try guys you can follow him also copy him copy his concept also uh, if you just learn this concept but try okay all right no worries i am uh, going to explain okay what actually it is and totally yeah, i agree with uh, who was it uh, salman okay <coughs> so i am again sharing my screen because it is important to learn from the figure okay anyone from okay. ah, see here so how negative pressure is creating as salman said hmm? am i audible guys okay am i audible salman am i audible yes okay all right now see. <coughs> yes yes uh, you are having gear pump okay you got two gears that is missing that is mechanically missing and imagine this rotation driver is rotating like this follower is rotating like this when they are rotating they are coming out of the mess they are unmessing as salman said it is correct because of this unmessing you are getting out of the mess the additional volume is getting created imagine this guys this, at this portion okay and the additional volume is created wide space is created this wide space additional volume because of, of increase in volume the pressure is reducing the pressure is reducing below the atmospheric pressure surrounding as you all should know that pressure travel from high like a fluid travel from high pressure region to low pressure region here we are seeing that the low pressure is creating because of unmessing of gear the gears are messing out the gears are messing out okay like moving like this the additional volume is creating okay when you will see the video you will get it more so the negative pressure is creating here because of this the fluid flow from high pressure to low pressure the fluid get into the into it okay so it's a simple answer how suction pressure is created suction pressure is created when the gear because of the gears getting out of the mess simple as that it's very short okay and now coming to the discharge pressure okay and uh, as the this fluid comes okay this fluid comes they got trapped between the teeth okay and due to this mechanical messing this 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 fluid passes through the perimeter of casing you can see the direction i have made okay perimeter of the casing and go goes through the discharge side now at discharge side how discharge pressure is created how high pressure is created the question is that. coming to the okay. definition of gear pump what is gear so who, what is who is like to tell actually uh, salman has also said about that but individually i want to ask how discharge pressure is created inside uh, gear pump because these are the common question that is generally being asked in interview if you will not know you will get rejected anyone else amstan try because i know you are working hard in retail so are there dis okay go ahead so at the distance side there is uh, so the gears gets into the mesh so there is volume in decrease in volume at the distance side that is how pressure is increased mm. because of decrease in volume as everyone know volume decreases pressure will increase volume increases pressure will decrease pv equal to constant got it guys so it's a common sense now let's see here again so here as it is rotating like this imagine this gear is moving in the, the direction of arrow this arrow okay and when it it is going like this it's shrinking okay it's getting into the mess the teeth are trapping like a uh, messing okay 
because of this fluid is pressurizing and when it is happen at the same time when this is getting out of the mesh here the suction pressure is creating at the same time here discharge pressure is creating because it is getting into the mesh and due to the getting into the mesh the uh, volume is decreasing and due to which flu, uh, fluid is pressurizing the pressure is increasing okay so here getting out of the mesh here getting into the mesh okay Gyan, I had a cross question for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. What if there is more clearance between the casing and the gear thing? What would happen to the okay. gear pump? Okay. No, this casing, uh, this I clear... think the efficiency of the pump will yeah. decrease. Okay. This uh, clearance you are talking about? This clearance you are talking about? Yes, yes. <laughs> If the how will fluid there is no, if there will be no clearance how, yes, yes, yes. yeah if so, so just imagine uh, if there will be no clearance because of this missing the fluid will have a lot of friction that it will have a lot of you know friction will be generated the fluid will not go here and because of this uh, fluid will evaporate and because of the boiling of fluid it can cause cavitation also got it. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. So these are the reason. Or see the why many of the people got rejected because of one misconception. I will be talking about that here. You can see uh, here you people have come. So these two important words is very much important. Like here two sentences is very much important. That suction line. This suction line is that line where gears get out the mess. Negative pressure region. Okay. And this is where gear getting into the mess. Okay, here volume is decreasing, pressure is increasing. Here volume is increasing, pressure is decreasing. Got it? Where get into the mess. Now, what was the mix misconception and why why uh, people got rejected on this question? Okay, and that misconception I also had at some point of time because i i was not able to imagine this because of this uh, getting out of the mess the additional volume is creating so guys till now anyone is still not able to understand this concept please tell me i will be discussing again this till now because i am going to tell what was the misconception regarding this concept that how pressure is how pressure is how uh, negative pressure is creating at inlet side and how discharge pressure is creating at outlet side because i will be telling about that so all uh, everyone understand how negative pressure is creating and discharge pressure is creating even i had the same misconception after watching your video i understood it thank you so much brother that's why i made it because of uh, my experience helps people and further it will be helping when I will be in GME training. That's why I uploaded it and made a dedicated lecture because these are the some and there are more videos need to which will be uploaded. Okay. So that will be mostly focused on interview. Okay. So you know many people know the concept but don't, do not able to uh, but they find themselves not able to deliver that concept in a smooth way that uh, that interview actually want to listen in a layman language in simple language so for that i polished every concept and delivered it to you okay it is not a rocket science i have just collected the question important question what was the concept uh, you learn you so what is the concept you learn you should learn that's only okay thanks now coming to the misconception okay see we uh, if you see our our earlier videos we had discussion regarding gear pump and we were discussing the mess, mess, same misconception and we were thinking that it is right 
ओके कॉमन मिसकॉन्सेप्शन रिगार्डिंग हेयर पंप तो वेन वी थॉट दैट हाउ निगेटिव प्रेशर इज मस्ट बी क्रिएटिंग इन साइड गियर पंप बिकॉज वी वर नॉट एबल टू इमेजिन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रोटेशन इट इज द एक्स्ट्रा वॉल्यूम इज क्रिएटेड सो वॉट वी यूज टू थॉट गाइज दैट वी वर हैविंग दिस आइडिया बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम द डिक्रीज इन प्रेशर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीज इन प्रेशर निगेटिव प्रेशर रीजन विल बी क्रिएटेड एंड दैट्स हाउ the fluid will get into the uh, casing of the uh, gear pump but what we were thinking actually how this volume is increased we were thinking guys this this casing volume is increase uh, is larger than this uh, discharge volume this volume this casing volume theek okay? uh, hai like here you can see i am talking about this casing volume is larger and because of this larger volume the uh, here the uh, fluid will come into the larger volume because of this larger volume pressure will reduce okay but it is not like that okay and here because of shorter volume of casing uh, the fluid will pressurize but actually reason is that actual reason is that because of the meshing of the gear getting out of the mesh getting into the mesh okay and the, you will see mostly in gear pump this volume this volume is same okay so this was the misconception we had faced so i thought you some of the people also must be facing so thought to tell you okay yes. okay guys <clears throat> now the next question is that uh, anyone like to tell this uh, they were having the same misconception i'm saying you were having the same misconception someone told about it even yeah, i had yesterday a, at 9 o'clock i uh, was telling you all right yeah, all right yeah. thank you so much it i feel very glad if something i have worked out upon and it comes out to be fruitful thank you amstan and i hope you get it you are showing dedicated dedication okay all right now the next question is what is the application of gear pump on board ship okay on board ship also where we use since it is it's a type of positive displacement pump so anyone like to answer this and guys uh, and uh, it is using the make a habit engine. of okay make a habit of come in the front of inter uh, camera and speak up uh, yes amstan go ahead yes amstan it's using the auxiliary engine for the loop oil and secondly for the oil water separator mm -hmm. oil water separator and uh, since it is a type of positive displacement pump so for where it is used it used where high pressure is needed and not much flow rate okay not much flow rate all right anyone else anyone uh, he just said it is used in aug uh, auxiliary engine low boil system and also he said that uh, it is also used in oily water oil water separator why we don't use uh, centrifugal pump in all water separator because there is possibility of the oil and the water getting emulsified together in a centrifugal pump yeah uh, getting yeah, emulsified yeah, okay so we use the okay, okay. so because of emulsification okay, okay. emulsification is like that mixing up something and the other third product is it is becoming like because of milk mixing of milk it becomes curd and other things okay milk product so it will like that because of the impeller rotation okay, okay. so now uh, now here we understand why oil water is separator is used uh, as a gear pump is used as oil water separator now understand why this auxiliary pump uh, engine need gear pump and but not in two stroke engine for low oil supply for low, we use centrifugal pump we use centrifugal pump for uh, for two stroke engine main engine is for what why amstan go ahead 
because lubrication required for a main engine is more so flow rate should be more so centrifugal pump is uh, essential over no, there no. high discharge large amount of auxiliary okay. engine hmm. yeah high discharge okay okay yeah yeah you are correct the high discharge they are not a very they are requiring a high discharge high amount of fluid okay high flow rate you were right okay so uh, it is approx yeah. 30000 per liter in a day sorry 30000 liter in a day it is requiring for a two stroke main engine okay so that's why there we use centrifugal pump and for other we use uh, other lubrication purpose like in auxiliary engine we use gear pump for lubrication and uh, oil water separator so these were the some of the application okay so this was all about gear pump gear pump is a very small topic okay the five question was very much important and it is not that much small that you should ignore it because this five question after 50 technical discussion we get out that the importance of this five question okay like we collected and made now <coughs> tell let me tell you uh, something about centrifugal pump since we are discussing here centrifugal pump only so <coughs> i will be telling you because just after centrifugal pump they ask gear pump and centrifugal pump diagram is very much important this is the same diagram which i had made and you can also practice this but i want to say these are the 10 centrifugal pump question is important okay you can after learning basics from dreamer package you come here okay and try to explain by self for yourself then after see my video okay and try it uh, by explaining yourself okay what is a centrifugal pump parts of centrifugal pump how negative pressure is created how discharge pressure is created and this is the one of the most important question effect of air inside centrifugal pump i have started mark okay priming cavitation and psh concept and in and psh concept i just miss we spoke one one word that i have pinned in the comment section that uh, otherwise everything is right and the next is why discharge valve is shut down it is also uh important why discharge valve is shut before starting of centrifugal pump i think we didn't discuss this uh, discharge valve shutting of discharge valve in centrifugal pump so we can discuss here why we keep discharge valve shut during starting of centrifugal pump or stuffing box we also stuffing. discuss we discuss na sir stuffing hello <coughs> so we missed the this concept uh, how why discharge pressure is uh, why we keep discharge valve shut during starting of centrifugal pump anyone like to answer this concept salman is here amson is here yeah salman go ahead and if you can uh, oh, keep on your camera that would be great okay so so during the starting of the pump mm. to re- to reduce the current in the motor mm. we uh, keep the discharge valve closed the power required is less because the discharge is zero so that is why we keep the valve closed what if you do not keep the valve closed like if if the pump is already primed and uh, then uh, then is the discharge valve is open then there is no problem in like uh, uh, starting the pump but if the pump is not primed and the discharge valve is uh, open then the pressure will not build up <clears throat> pressure will not build up if you do not see pressure will not build up uh, you are not uh, uh, answering totally correct but yeah there will be not enough pressure that should be okay but uh, there are some other things as well we should you should also know about that okay and uh, you learned from dreamer package this concept 
Uh, yeah, I had uh, like London Dreamer package, but I'm exo- exactly not uh, saying okay. from the Dreamer package because right. I had like okay. learned it. Uh, re- I've not revised that part. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. No worries, no worries. Uh, you can jo- since uh, I think you are first joining from here Telegram group. You can join my WhatsApp group. Okay, I have just sent sent the link. And guys, this is very much important question to learn about. Amson was saying that yeah, Amson, go ahead. Why we keep discharge valve shut during a starting? So why we shut the? Uh, yeah, this is mainly done to prevent uh, the wires as well as the motor from overheating. Mm-hmm. So when you start the motor, mm-hmm. it is it the impeller requires some some starting torque to overcome the inertia, mm-hmm. to overcome inertia. So it draws extra current. If you keep it open, the valve open, as, as because discharge increases, the, even the power drawn by the motor will increase. Mm. So you keep it shut so that there is no extra current drawn. If there was flow. Mm. So to come back the inertia, the, the valve is shut so that power drawn is less. It was nice explanation. Salman, you said to save the power consumption. Okay. So where it would be consuming more power if we will not coming, uh, if we will not shutting the discharge valve, keeping the discharge valve closed, where it is consuming more power. Yeah, it will not build that much pressure, but where it is consuming power, what will happen? It will consume more power. Because of the same reason that Amsterdam said now that starting it. Starting torque, that starting torque is more, and that is why that is more correct reason. Yeah, very much. Good. Uh, Gulsan, you would like to go ahead? Yeah. Um, I have two reasons uh, for uh, 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 start the pump before the uh, start the pump before the start the start the wall. There is the two reasons. First reason is to save the power consumption, mm-hmm. and then second reason is to prevent the motor from overheating. Uh, I explained second uh, second uh, point is for me. Mm-hmm. So, so if uh, there is a discharge uh, wall is not shut, so uh, the uh, negative pressure is not carried on the uh, impeller of I, the eye of impeller. So there is be a, if there is no creating a negative pressure, so uh, water is a liquid is a fluid, not sucked from the bottom side. And uh, uh, when there when the fluid is not cut with the help of an um, impeller, so there is a creator, um, uh, the impeller is running dry. And when the uh, impeller is running dry, so there is an uh, overheating of motor and then get damage. You were going right, but you just. No, you were going right, but after second part, you just missed the whole thing you explained what are the effects of having air okay you just missed up the okay okay, okay, okay. can i explain uh, uh, correctly okay i will be explaining but let me correct you you explain correct that it is for generally for two reasons to save the power consumption and also to prevent motor from overheating okay yeah all right so now see what you have just said sec- in second region you said you will exp- you will be explaining second region first that uh, because if you keep open discharge valve open it will not able to create negative pressure why it will not able to create negative pressure it will able to create neg- negative pressure okay okay but impeller has to do a lot of work okay mm-hmm. uh, motor shaft has to do a lot of work okay so <clears throat> now understand this salman was correct very much correct now how what interviewer actually want exactly wants to hear okay and how he will be impressed because there are certain sets of questions that are only asked and that question your question is need to be perfect on a superficial number, everyone knows the concept what is actually this two region and what and what. So, Amson was right that uh, there is uh, some starting torque required because it is starting from the rest position. 
and you know guys it's a common sense if something is starting from rest it will require more force yeah gulson go ahead yeah gulson go ahead you are raising hand yeah. you raised no okay on my mistake okay so i was saying that because it need to start because in starting it need to rotate the impeller from its rest position and uh, because of inertia someone was asking its inertia or mo mo moment of inertia okay inertia means its mass the more mass of the impeller the like there will be larger impeller so the, it will require more starting torque more torque to rotate it because of its inertia because of its mass inertia is saying that that mass that is rotate rotate rotating mass is the okay inertia or moment of inertia that is a very much uh, same thing a mass is rotating and along axis and if you are seeing something along axis mass is rotating that will become moment of inertia okay Mom for moment of inertia you need axis from which axis you are seeing that there are lots of axis you see and from different axis the moment of inertia is different so we are not avoiding this word moment of inertia we are only saying that inertia that is related with mass because of inertia so i was saying that uh, uh, let let me show it by figure okay because this is the important question huh. okay. all right <clears throat> and also guys i have explained the question and i have divided the chapters like in in this question in this section you will get to know how negative pressure is created in this section what are the effect of air you are seeing the i have divided the uh, chapters what is vapor pressure what is concept of boiling effect of cavitation how cavitation can be prevented why discharge valve shut during the centrifugal pump application of centrifugal pump on board ship how much time we keep discharge valve shut okay no so i have uh, mentioned here to save the power consumption and starting from to save the power consumption and to prevent the motor from overheating it will increase the life span of pump okay so see here impeller okay when we are starting this okay so it has there is a starting torque required to rotate this impeller and to bring it uh, from a fixed position from a rest position to at fixed rpm there will be a starting torque that is the extra force is required okay and as you know in a case of centrifugal pump when the flow is more the current drawn by the motor will be more isn't guys because q is the king discharge is the king the more discharge in centrifugal pump the more amount of current it will draw from the motor so if we do not keep discharge valve shut what will happen the pump has to work more the power will be consumed more because first it in starting it has to rotate it from the rest position and when at the same time it has to create a flow also so double double kharcha okay so because of that we consume power we save power because of we shut discharge from valve from here okay i have also made the flow okay as uh, salman said in starting we made the flow zero here you are seeing the graph zero flow graph here we are we have discharge the this is a power graph power and flow graph here you are seeing the when the flow is zero power is that much only consuming in starting as the flow is increasing power is also increasing power consumption is also increasing current drawn is also increasing linearly increasing so i was saying that to save this to save the uh, power consumption we do that okay and also and also uh, if you do not keep the discharge valve shut okay because of this more current more co huge amount of current drawn there will be overheating because it is not some uh, some uh, hundreds of liter it is uh, centrifugal pump is dra drawing it's a thousand of liters that is transferring sound uh, of uh, 
water it is transferring on board uh, ship or anywhere centrifugal pump is for high discharge so in that case it is very much needed to keep discharge valve shut okay got it guys anything you got any confusion please tell me will be clear that if you understand the graph power and flow graph why it is like this uh, you don't understand please tell me all clear guys i'm sent clear salman clear yes yes, yes all right yes. so now one, yes. one extra important that for this you know for ships question why i am also telling and along with the uh, same time uh, that the on ship what is why it is jo uh, where what is the timing of this uh, for what timing we keep this just all for such because i have just recently passed interview of synergy they were more asking ships question ships related question how to maintain what are the machinery what are the things why we keep this coated i was like they ask in uh, retain so all the mechanical question production part also they asked from like it was get, get like paper but in interview they are asking like a ship question so but i was aware of i had learned many thing from dreamer package and we were discussing i was very fluent so i was able to deliver the answer okay now here see i was telling the <coughs> the on board ship we keep discharge valve shut for 15 minutes remember guys this timing okay uh, this is from dreamer package prince are told and here i am also mentioned now in starting time uh, uh, to from starting torque it has to uh, to bring it at fixed rpm there will be a torque required that is known as starting torque okay in starting torque, torque this much amount of current will be only drawn okay because the uh, in starting the flow will be zero this much amount of current will be drawn uh, then when flow we will keep open will keep open this uh, we will when we will open this discharge valve the graph will be like this okay this is the characteristic curve of centrifugal pump got is guys so this question was uh, left behind so i thought to explain here because it is just we are pump this explaining so this was all guys any confusion any confusion anything you want to ask from me no. any strategy how to prepare and anything you are no. leaving behind right now everything is good so i will be sharing today uh, tomorrow topic i had a question yeah salman go ahead yeah in like in synergy hmm. so like uh, do they take candidate like uh, uh before completing the course or like they have they only take candidates who have completed their gme course how is it no no they are nowadays they are also providing gme sponsorship like after passing your mechanical you will get gme sponsorship of synergy and then you will get a college for that you will do that and then after you get on board from synergy so i my synergy video will be also coming in that i have told all the pro, i have told all the process okay see that and my experience of interview and retain also okay copy it salman okay okay go through my okay, uh, videos you. since uh, you are new comer so uh, i would like to tell you that there are lots of discussion okay uh, we have already did you will see on my youtube channel check it out you will many things uh, you will get to see a uh, lots of things that will help you and there are some guys i am seeing ajay was not active today but i noticed guys okay uh, noticed guys who are taking actively participation and i will be guiding you more i will i would love to guide you more if you are at shown your activeness thank you so much guys so this was gyan prakash signing off good night guys